welcome to my kitchen. My name is Beverly and on today's episode of Cooking with Love, I'm going to be showing you my family's version of chicken parmesan. Now chicken parmesan is a breaded fried cutlet and you put sauce, tomato sauce and melted cheese over the top and you bake it. This is a very popular recipe with my family. We served it for Sunday dinners, we served it for special occasions and this is my husband's birthday request every year for his birthday dinner. So let's get started. The ingredients to make our chicken parmesan are boneless chicken breast, flour for dredging, all purpose flour, seasoned Italian breadcrumbs, egg for an egg wash, salt and pepper to taste, Tomato sauce, this is my homemade tomato sauce and I will give you the link below for that. And the cheeses are either Fontina, fresh sliced mozzarella and Parmesan. You can use a combination of all three or just one or the other, depending on what you prefer. I'm going to beat my eggs and to make my egg wash, I'm gonna add a little bit of milk and you can either season your chicken breasts liberally with salt and pepper or you can season your flour and your eggs. That's what I'm going to do today. Put a little bit of pepper in each and a little bit of salt in each. Okay. Okay, now we start. We take our chicken breast, which I have washed and cleaned up a little bit. We want to cut it lengthwise like so. Make sure to open it up. They're very large. We want to get these as thin as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pound them all and then we can start the dredging. So let's cut them and then we will pound them in between saran wrap. Okay, take a piece of saran wrap, place it on your cutting board. Take a piece of chicken. And now we're going to pound it. You want it as thin as possible without breaking it apart. Pound from the center out. I think that looks good. So here we go. We have one chicken breast pounded. We'll proceed to do the other ones. We're ready to dredge our cutlets now. So what you want to do is dip them in the flour. Shake off the excess. Dip it in our egg wash. And then dip it in the bread crumbs. Now if you find your pieces are too big, you can cut them in half. So here's one. This one here is a little too big. I'm going to cut this one in half and go ahead and dredge. So I'm going to finish doing these cutlets and then we're ready to fry them. I have my oil heating. I'm using canola oil and I'm bringing it up to temperature. And now I'm going to fry my cutlets. Don't overcrowd your pan. So I'm going to be doing my cutlet in batches. And once you put them in, don't touch them until they're ready to turn. Our cutlets are ready to turn. 
They don't have to be cooked all the way through, but you do want them to have a nice coating on them like this. They're going to finish cooking in the oven when we assemble the Parmesan. The cutlets are ready on both sides. I'm going to drain them on paper towel and I'm going to continue to cook the rest of my cutlets now. And they've cooked about two minutes per side. That's all you need for now. All our cutlets are fried and drained on paper towel. Now I'm going to do the assembly. So you want to put sauce in the bottom of your roasting pan. You want enough to make sure you cover it sufficiently. That looks good. Now we're going to assemble in a layer our cutlets. Okay, there you go. Now more sauce. On each cutlet. I'm going to finish adding the rest of my sauce. I like to add more than is necessary. It will be absor absorbed and saute in the oven with the sauce. There we go. I may as well just use it all up. Alrighty. Now I like a mixture of all three cheeses. So I start with a little bit of Parmesan and sprinkle that over the top. That looks good. Now I put my sliced fresh mozzarella all over. The combination of the three cheeses gives it a unique taste. So you want to make sure you cover all areas. It will melt. And finally, I've grated some Fontina cheese. I'm going to sprinkle that all over the top. And now it will go into the oven. 350. It's, this size pan is going, going to cook for at least an hour. Three quarters of the way through, we're going to uncover it. Okay, into the oven it goes. And we're all set. Our chicken parm is ready to eat. I've asked my sister Barbara over to have a meal with me. And you can see it's actually fork tender. You can just cut it with a fork. It's so tender. So we're going to try this now. Wow. Mozzarella is oozing. Very good. Mm. So moist. Delicious. Why don't you give this recipe a try? And thanks for watching us again on Cooking with Love. Bye-bye.